open-minded when we look at something like teen depression or the problems that young people have with and getting help as a yeah. whole. Yeah, yeah. No, I think I think people are recognizing that this is an issue. This is a problem. You know, when we talk to parents, we either hear kind of on one side, maybe it's an older teen or young adult who just is spending so much time in the kind of in the basement playing video games and is disengaged and disattached and their um, their parents are worried about him or her or it's the other side it's more explosive behavior it's um, you know throwing a chair in the classroom or you know that that explosive behavior but both sides of those they're kind of um, different sides of the same coin it can be a sign of a mental health issue all right, ma'am, uh, I spent a lot of years in the Army, and uh, Uncle Sam was my travel agent. Not exactly the, you know, the sexiest travel agent. You don't go to all the cool places, but you get to see the world from a different perspective. Talk a little bit. So this is the sales pitch for young people seeing the world and the impact that it can have on them. Oh, you... That's it. That's your thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is your thing. Yeah. You know, I think... Anytime teens can experience something new, um, an opportunity to kind of build confidence and perspective, um, that really will help um, them just build that sense of resilience um, and that kind of put things into perspective. And yeah, it makes a big difference. Everybody knows, so I always say the microphone is not free. Changing the world is not cheap, easy, or free. No. It's not, no. So what are the things that people could help United Way with? Because yeah. you guys are the helpers. Yes. Yes. Well, we are also trying to help parents. And so everybody can, if they are a parent or if there's other, some other type of caring adult, if they're the soccer coach, if they're the uncle, if they're the barber, whoever, um, they can help make the difference um, in the life of a young person. So... Um, we provide um, United Way. We fund partners that provide, you know, traditional mental health services like therapists, that type of thing. But really, um, <coughs> what's going to help kids the most is if that caring adult in their life can help meet some of those emotional needs. So, um, as a few, we have a framework that we use um, to, that's outlines the emotional needs of kids. It's really building that sense of emotional safety connection and confidence and so we have tips and trainings and tools to help equip parent adults so they can help build that sense of safety connection and confidence that all teens need to thrive and be mentally healthy or mentally strong what are the type of programs that you have going in, in besides that down in petersburg anything you want to shed some light on to let people know down in the tri-cities yeah, so um, we're working with a number of partners um, down there that they all have programs. So one of our partners is um, SCAN, which stands for... Um, I see that. I never really knew what, what that meant. Yeah, it stands for Stop Child Abuse Now. Um, oh. Yeah, and they have a number of community programs. Like They're working with, with us on Everyday Strong, but it's trainings for parents, materials, getting it out, and then something like they have other programs, parenting groups, <coughs> other trainings for people who want to go deeper in different areas of um, youth mental health. I've heard of Everyday Strong. What is that? Yeah, so that that's our youth mental health initiative. That's what it is. Yes, that's what it is. And we call it Everyday Strong because oftentimes when we think about mental health, we think it has to be with a therapist or it has to be the big, I'm worried about you talk. But there's so many things we can do every day and any day to help support the you know, teens in our lives and help them be emotionally strong and resilient. Um, so we really focus on the everyday things parents can do to help support teens.